Tusker Project Fame Season 5 receives 5 million Kenyan shillings from Tusker, a recording contract from Universal Music Group, a 43-inch LCD TV and home theatre system from Samsung, one year's Crystal Health medical cover from Resolution Health, close protection bodyguard services for one year from G4S, and a scholarship from Maranatha College. Tusker, refresh your roots. For the thousands who dared to dream, one epic journey began. The chance to change. The chance to stand tall. The chance for the best to be recognized. Only the chosen few would shine. Only the chosen few would transform. Who will be the last person standing? Who will be the best? The journey to find East Africa's biggest star ends tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your hosts, Sheila Moniga and Mitch Egwang. Hey, 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 hey. Bonjour, bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. What's up? Welcome. We're coming to you live from the Tusker Dome in Nairobi, Kenya. Yep, believe it or not, somebody's dream is going to come through tonight. We're finally here. We've made it to our final step in our epic journey. Uh, believe it or not, tonight somebody's dream is actually going to come true. It is the final! <laughs> Fantastic. Eight weeks ago, 18 hopeful contestants started out, each one hoping that they were going to be a winner. And we've seen some very difficult decisions unfold on this stage. Some we agreed with, others, let's not even go there. But what must be said is that the contestants this year have definitely been put through some of the hardest challenges ever. Yep, you know, there are only four that remain. At the end of tonight's show, one of them is gonna walk away with five million Kenya shillings and a 10 million shillings recording contract. Can you imagine how much fame that can get how many guys, chicks, cars, um, fast, you know, it's stop, stop, unbelievable stop, stop, stuff, stop, stop, man. Stop, stop, Don't plan with that one. It's not your money to win. But you've been voting all of this week for the contestant that you believe deserves to be crowned winner of Tusker Project Fame 5. So who did you vote for? Before you answer that question, let's get up close and personal with our final four finalists. Uh, my favorite performance is the first one. That's where I learned to be comfortable, to be confident. When I start to believe that I could, be, I could win this competition was when Samantha left. And when I saw her leaving, I said that everything is possible. I would say that I have learned uh, that I am resilient. You're like that cockroach that refuses to die. And for your fighting spirit, you're safe. It was just a prayer, you know, a silent hope. I had no idea I would make it this far. Even if this experience makes me a star, um, stars are people with stories. My story is that I'm a simple girl from the country. Ya kwanza nilipokuja hapa na nilikuwa na shida kwa sababu nilikuwa sijaamini na maybe tutu kuhusu lugha. Ukifata task unaona ni kubwa sana. Unafata judges Ian, Julian, Hamis. In spite of the overgrown wife front, 
That was quite entertaining. Favorite performance yangu naanza sema ni when ni vimba wimbo wa nani ya Bob Marley. What have I learned about myself? I think I've learned that there is nothing that you cannot do. Everything starts from the mind. Hallelujah. Thank you. I realized that I could win this thing when I got into top five. My father made me like music. He realized that I could sing. And out of that, he has nurtured me up until this time. So for me, winning this competition, I think, would be a gift to my father. Well, I honestly have to take my hat off to all <laughs> that competition. Yeah. These guys have skills. From 10,000 of them, we knocked them down to 14, actually 15. Yes. Now there are only four left in the academy. Yes, indeed. And there's conversations that are unfolding online if you're logged on and on Facebook. Find us on Facebook forward slash Tuscalaga.com. Or better yet, you can follow me on Twitter. It's at TPF Dr. Mitch. Right, or follow me at TPF Sheila. And over the past few weeks, there are four contestants who have been doing all sorts of things to our contestants. Biggest one being Sleepless Nights on a Sunday. So join me in welcoming our Tusker Project Fame judges. Let's hear it for Judge Hermes. Judge Juliana. Judge Ian. And Judge Gerard. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, the judges of Tusca Project Fame, season five. Big round of applause. Wow. You know, we're gonna have to catch up with those judges in the next few minutes. Yes, we will, looking pretty sharp. But last night we had five contestants gunning for the finals. However, we lost one. Take a look. It's the eve of the final. <laughs> First person who the public has chosen to stay in the academy, Joe. <laughs> Ruth. Ruth. Doreen. <laughs> the last person who the public decided to save today, Dave Jackson. What an epic night. Could you have predicted that? Could you have predicted that, Mitch? Um, not really. But tell you the truth, only one person can win, huh? That's true. So let's cross over to the judges. Judge Gerard, a quick summary of what's happened this season. Eight weeks of exhilaration, talent, and yeah, tonight we'll have the winner. Okay. Okay. And Judge Hermes, I'm still in shock. You're wearing a suit. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Well, I've decided to bring on my swag. Cool. Tell me something. Your prediction yeah. for tonight. Who's taking home the money? I don't know, but if I actually knew, I'd be talking to him right now, so we split. Okay. Right? <laughs> Thank you very much, Hermes. Judge Juliana, what are your expectations of the performances tonight? Well, I, I think I expect them to be at their best, 110%, because tonight we get to decide who the winner is. And so it's their last time to show us what they have. They should use that moment. Okay. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to, us to give a standing ovation to Judge Ian for wearing a suit too. Come on. <laughs> uh, Ian, I've known you for many years, but today you've outdone yourself. Great suit choice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, on with the show, I think. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, it is hot, I'm telling you. Do you think it's about time for us to bring out the contestants, ladies and gentlemen? I think we should, including a few familiar faces as well. Good evening, East Africa. Good to be back. Tonight. 
Cause I found someone to Gentlemen, the Academy in Tusker Project Fame Season 5. Huge round of applause. We're going to touch base with them a little later in the show tonight. But first, let's welcome the teachers who've made all of this possible for the contestants. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome dance choreographer Edu. RK, voice coach Kabusa. And of course, Principal Helen. Let's not forget Aaron and his band. And of course, the BGBs. <laughs> Welcome. BGBs, it's great to see you here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we've got everybody together, coming up after the break, we've got a special guest surprise just for you. All right, so it's Tusca Project Fame Season 5. For the last couple of weeks, you've been wondering what's been happening here. Well, we are building the next generation of Africa's superstars. 
The person who's going to be walking away tonight is going to have 5 million Kenya shillings in their pocket, a 10 million shilling recording contract with Universal Music Group, man, fortune and fame beyond their wildest dreams. All that is happening courtesy of Tusker Project fame. Wow, unbelievable. So, Sheila, tell you what, what's happening next now? We're doing pretty good up in here, and we've witnessed a fantastic season in here. One of our contestants is definitely going to walk away with a whole lot of cash. But, you guys, it's nice to see you here. Are you happy? Yeah. Mitch, I think before I talk to the contestants, let's introduce our faculty. These guys have a lot of stories to tell. Oh, yes. <laughs> it... <laughs> All right, so let's, let's take a look at what happened in the academy. There's two toilets, two bathrooms. Yes. One for boys, one for girls. Yes. Some girls don't mind sharing. Some girls mind being share, using the bathrooms alone. So the, it means that there are girls who are getting to the boys' shower yeah. before the boys are done. I want to see when you breathe in, how much air really is going into your lungs. So next one we're going to do, try and make... Okay. Stop that. <laughs> That's why it's punishment. Man, what is yours? That's my crush. His name is Edu. You, you don't know him? I would like to welcome all of you to the 2012 Tusker Project Fame Independence Award. The winner is Joe. Welcome, contestants. <laughs> Joe, step forward. Jackson, you're all on probation. <laughs> Well, you know, life is not always super smooth in the academy. Sometimes you got to go through the fire, well, to come out refined. Now, tell me, Principal Helen. Yes. What are your memories from the academy this season here? Was it all rough and tumble? I think the memories are both good and bad. Sad when the contestants go because for me, I think like a mother of them. So when they go, I feel pain because we've trained them and you want to keep them in the house, but somebody has to go. But the good times that we've had, when you see them grow and you're like, oh, so they can actually listen and actually transfer the knowledge into the stage. All right. Yeah. And RK, was it difficult producing these guys here or you think it's going to be snap, crackle, pop? I think a lot of them are really talented, especially in the studio. I got to see the other side that I never saw in the academy. Uh, maybe it's the excitement of recording, but it was wonderful in the studio. Okay. Yeah. Now, voice coach Kabusa, I know not everybody has a, what, a Janet Jackson or Luther Vandross type of voice. Was it difficult working with these guys? No, it wasn't actually. I think they had willing spirits and they wanted to learn. And that made it easier to sort of grow. And we've seen the growth from the first day till today. Okay. Yeah. And Edu, hmm? in terms of moves, you know, there's some guys who had two left feet and other guys you knew you had to work overtime, but did, did they all grab it? I think they did. Uh, it's really nice to see how they come in without uh, knowing much about dance. But uh, looking at them now, the growth is really visible. All right, great. And my main man, Aaron. Yeah. You know, um, you know, performing with a band is not a simple thing, and these guys were thrown into the deep end. Most guys you know, perform on tracks, huh? Yes. How do you think these guys did? Um, yeah? I think, I think it was, um, it, the 
it was a challenge for us first of all because yeah. there are many songs that we play mm -hmm. and then secondly for these guys each song has its own character so for us guys to interpret that and put it on stage um that 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 in itself gave us a challenge but we enjoyed it all right yeah great so sheila i i think the guys are ready Yes, they are contestants. Once again, it's lovely to see all of you. We'd like to say a very big thank you to Air Uganda, the Wings of East Africa. You brought some wonderful people to be here with us this very special night. And this week was busy. Not only was it hard work, there was a wonderful reunion that happened between these guys and our finalists. Take a look. <laughs> wonderful day out for our contestants but Samantha it's great to see you here what have you been doing it's been a minute girl uh, since I left I've been resting mm -hmm. uh, having some <laughs> I was tired <laughs> uh, having some time with my family and friends and um, preparing something for my fans very soon all right we look forward to hearing your music Alan the king of swag how's that working out for you yeah, what up, East Africa? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I've been in studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been in studio trying to do something for my fans, hoping that they will like it. Right. And hey, East Africa, get ready for me. All right, Alan. Crossing over to our finalist, Joe, last night was tense. On that stage last night, I thought you were going to collapse. How was that? That was my way for expressing my joy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, what about you, Ruth? It's been a long journey, but here you are. Ready to cross that line? I think I'm ready to cross that line. I just want to say thank you to God for, you know, making me get this far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I'll tell you what. This year, so many across East Africa tried out at the auditions. Not everybody made it to this bench. However, there's some who showed up at those auditions, and they still give us something to smile about. Go ahead and sing. Okay. Killing the prophets of I want somebody who knows that this is my talent, this is my dream. Even if Dixon says no, I know I can do it. You tell me that you're sorry. Did I think I turn around? There is nothing. Zero. I expect a lot of people to come in and I expect a lot of talent. Thunder, if you ever see the storm, you take a rise. Hold the depression just like a nation. Yeah. You are the shy. Devo will get you. Where, 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 where does it go? And this is three, that's the chorus. Yes, that's what we've been waiting for.
address. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Samuel Guitao. <laughs> now, <laughs> and I'm telling you, superstars, they, 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 they just perform and go away. Let's give them a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That's massive stuff. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we've got more action coming up for you. We've got the top four contestants from Tasca Project fame, starting off with Doreen. So we're coming back right after this. Tasca Project fame, season five. Hello and welcome back to Tusca Project Fame Season 5. We're all set to find out who's going to emerge winner tonight. But last night we had five contestants. Unfortunately, at the end of the show, we were left with four. Steve was the Kenyan who left us last night. Now, Steve, leaving the academy last night, did it keep you from having a great time out? No, it didn't. I had fun to the fullest. All right. Take a look at what happened. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she's in the running to walk away with five million Kenya shillings. They love her, she's from Kenya, and let me introduce you to her, Doreen. Walking with a bigger band and a bigger production uh, just makes me uh, be a better team player, because... Just let it pop, 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 pop by itself. How about it's, it just Hello. clashes? So it's a once in a lifetime chance that I got into and I am grateful whatever happens tonight, I will totally go with it. Yes, I have what it takes to win this competition and the fact that I made it to the final just stamps it. Why won't you come on over Ladies and gentlemen, she's gone through an evolution the entire season long. From the Purple Princess to the Princess of Probation, now she's Doreen singing Valerie. Pay the fine, the 
Cause you were dogging all the time But you'll still be there But since I've come on home Well, my body's been a mess I miss your dreams of hair And the way you like to dress Won't you come on over Stop making a fool out of me There she goes. Doreen, Doreen. Mm -hmm. How do you feel on stage? Like it's the last time? It is, it is. Judge Gerard, what do you think? Doreen, eight weeks later, um, I have a question for you. Will the five million shillings get you to come out of your cocoon? Is that the price? It's clear that you've got talent but I just feel that you're still holding back. Are you? <laughs> Are you holding back? Are you? You're not sure. Hermes, what do you think? I, I could hardly hear her, but the performance was good, the band was okay, but Doreen, you actually were not in the mood today, I feel like. But good luck. Thank okay. you. Judge Juliana? Doreen, it's kind of a mix for me. When you started, uh, you know, with this season, we started off seeing you as someone who was very shy and someone who just never enjoyed her performances. And then in the last few weeks, you were actually getting much, much better. You were at the top of your game. So today, I'm surprised because you've gone back to that Doreen that we never used to, you know, like that much. Maybe it's the song, I don't know. Okay. And Ian, one of your former students. Doreen, I have worked with you. I have seen your potential. And you've gone down. You're not ready. OK. Let's see what the faculty think. Hmm? Principal Helen. All right. <clears throat> um, what I want to say, I want to look at it from the other side.